hi hello so you're about to watch this video and i just wanted to say up front that i was not feeling well while filming this video the quality isn't the best it was winter i was feeling poopy but you know painting is what i do when i feel like that and it really helps me i really love the painting and how it came out so i hope you enjoy this video as well i will apologize in advance for the crappy quality thank you so much for watching have fun hi i'm starting on a big painting and i just wanted to film the process of it a little bit uh, but i don't have a studio or a nice place to work right now because we're renovating the bathroom and that was not my studio but my studio was next to it and now that's going to be a children's room because we're adopting and it's all getting very close so my studio has got to go and that's why I'm at the dining table in the living room with dead flowers and everything and just all the mess but I just started a bigger painting and I thought it was fun to just show so first steps I have printed out what I wanted to paint do not ask me for the name of this thing but I thought it was very cool it has some very cool textures and i just wanted to use my light box to trace it um and before you all go mad at me in the comments it's not cheating it's just using whatever you have to create your art and my art is not drawing it's painting so i only need the outside lines and then i paint everything in and i give my own spin to it and that's my art and not the drawing of the thing itself i leave that to the specialist but I have this new Taddy paper, it's A2, but it's very thick. I'm not sure if you can hear that. <laughs> uh, but it also means that I cannot use my light box, so I tried the thing where I just do this on the background and trace it over, but it doesn't work because the paper is too structured. So I have now a very, very light drawing of it on here. And I'm just filling everything in with my my little drawing skills that i have so i hope it works out i thought it would be very cool to just have the green and the red which, which are complementary all in its own i have no idea what i'm gonna do for the background so i think i'm gonna leave that for last although i know i am gonna regret that a lot um but yeah i wanted to film everything with this thingy i have normally i clip my phone here but this broke off so you're gonna see my amateur bits and pieces of this painting. I'm not sure how I'm gonna manage, but I hope you enjoy. So, silent observations while drawing. I used to always hate having those pencil lines shown through your drawing because then you could see that you've drawn it down before you painted it as if that's a bad thing but still i didn't like it and now i'm just like well i wish everybody could see everybody's lines you know i'm not it doesn't make sense really but if people could see my lines before what's painted all over it and i don't mean makeup i just mean emotional blah and everything like, that would be cool. I think the world would be a lot better. So I'm gonna not be too careful with the pencil and I'm not gonna erase it all together and make it hard for myself. I'm just... You can see his lines. His lines are beautiful. Okay, getting on with the drawing. Okay, it's time to start painting.
painting the legs right now and as you can see they are clearly black I'm still painting them red and that's just because I want some of the red to shine through so it looks just a little bit warmer and interesting and a little bit more like the feet are part of the rest here these are already like five or six layers as you see me do and this thingy here is gonna give me a hard time because that picture here seems like an extra eye which is just gonna look weird anyways um yeah so i'm almost done with the red part for now i'll have to go over it a couple more times i will just paint off the legs then this little bit is yellowish so i will do that tomorrow i think and then the whole part is green i will do that another time as well because i'm kind of losing my focus here so i'm just adding some last details here and then i'm gonna leave it as it is for today hi so welcome to another painting day i did do some work on the box since yesterday because every time i walked past i had to do something on it um so the legs are darker i painted the eye and i did something in the nose what i did was take a picture of it and then see it in black and white to see if the values are correct i learned that yesterday from a youtuber so i thought i'd try it out and turned out my values were not entirely correct so i adjusted it a little bit they're better now uh but yeah let's see let's see how the painting is looking right now so this is what we have so far so you can see i did the eyes all three of them which are just slightly extinguishable i don't even know that word i hope it was slightly correct this has lots of neo values of black in there or dark red and the legs have had their first blackish tone in them i'm mixing the black from a prussian blue and a burnt sepia just so the colors mix better with the red because if i do a normal black in there it will be a little bit bland and as you can see for the eye i first did blue underneath and then I use a neutral tint, but you can see that this is another kind of black than the legs are. So yeah, for today, I'm gonna do this bit, which is this bit on the actual insect. And we're gonna do the whole, this part, or at least the first layer. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it yet. Um, this is clearly more yellowish then it gets green and then blue underneath i think so there's a couple ways to do it i can just either wet the whole thing drop in the colors and then wait for it to dry for a few seconds and drop in clean water on the, pl uh, the place that i want white so it will bloom or i can get sharper lines by just painting it up till then and drop in the color here and just not paint on these parts and i think that's the way to go it will take some more time and it will take some more effort to make it look as a one but we do have slightly more control and i'm gonna lay down the ground colors first and then paint in those black spots later and i think that's all
Okay, I have the first piece of the wing done, or at least the base layer is done. I used, oh, you don't see it anymore here, lemon yellow, um, transparent yellow, the Helio Cerulean, and this is just that mixed. And I used a mixed combination of them as well as just pure on the paper. So we have yellow spots, we have blue spots, and we have just green spots. I will go over this side again with yellow once it's dry because I don't want be, uh, I don't want this to become too muddy. And then we'll do this part and the last part once this is dry and I know how the colors will end up. So I know how much darker I will have to get. I just this random, just tapping my pencil so we'll get this structure. And we'll see how it comes out. I mean, the dots are not at the correct place altogether, but you know, it doesn't have to be an exact copy of it. Um, so we'll just have some fun with it. So yeah, now just wait for it to dry. Okay, so the painting is all dry now and we're just gonna make the yellow dots in the wing and after that we're gonna get all the little black details done. So I think it's time for a montage. All the dots are done so now it's just the belly that's left and then we'll get some white gouache and paint and all the highlights on his nose and then we'll see what's missing so i normally keep some of my gouache in this little jar um but there was very little left in it so i just diluted it to use it on the painting. I'm just gonna make some white here on his face and in the wings and then I think it's done. So let's get to it. Good morning! So it's a great day today. It's raining outside and everything. Um, I think the painting is done. I'm not completely sure. I'm in doubt if I should go over it with colored pencils or not. I'm in doubt if I should add a little crown on top of his head or not. Just... It would be fun. I asked on Instagram if I should do it. And it's half-half, so... No, I'm not sure. I wasn't expecting so many people to say no, and I am very happy with how it looks right now. So maybe I will just cut out a crown out of paper and just, you know, place it up there for the picture, but it will be removable. Um, yeah, so I think it's time for a close up. Thank you so much for watching and going through this whole process with me. I hope you like it. Please let me know if you did. And yeah, see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye.